Have you ever wondered what secrets lie hidden in the depths of our digital world? Welcome to the intricate universe of Dan Brown's Digital Fortress. This isn't just another spy novel, it's a thrilling exploration of cryptography, the art of writing and solving codes, and a deep dive into the world of digital security. In this narrative, we're introduced to the enigmatic world of the National Security Agency, or NSA, the world's most powerful intelligence organization, and a code so potent it could bring the world's digital security to its knees. Our story revolves around Susan Fletcher, a brilliant cryptographer who works for the NSA. She's the agency's head cryptographer no less, and she's just stumbled upon a code that even she can't crack. This unbreakable code, a seeming impossibility in the world of cryptography, is the heart of our tale. Commander Strathmore, Susan's boss, is another key player in our story. An old-school intelligence officer, he's seen it all, and navigated the murky waters of cyber espionage. Yet even he is taken aback by the implications of this new code. And then there's Ensei Tankado, a former NSA employee, who swore revenge on the agency after a bitter falling out. He's the one responsible for this unbreakable code, this digital fortress. Tankado is no longer with us, having met an untimely end, but his legacy lives on in the code that could cripple nations. Together these characters weave a tale of suspense and intrigue, set against the backdrop of the secretive world of the NSA. They grapple with the ethical implications of their actions, the balance between national security and personal privacy, and the potential fallout of a world where no secret can be kept safe. This is a story that delves into the heart of digital encryption and the very nature of security. It's a thrilling journey through a world where nothing is as it seems, and the line between friend and foe is ever blurred. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover the secrets of Digital Fortress, and perhaps even a few secrets about ourselves. The stage is set for a thrilling journey into the heart of digital encryption and national security. As the story unfolds, we find ourselves plunged into a world of secrets, lies, and betrayal. Imagine a tale where an unbreakable code is discovered, a code so complex and sophisticated that it threatens to shatter the security of the world's most powerful intelligence agency, the NSA. That's the heart of the first half of Digital Fortress. The code, named TransLTR, is the brainchild of the brilliant and eccentric Ensei Tankado, who meets a sudden and mysterious death. Tankado's demise sets off a frantic race to find a mysterious ring believed to hold the key to breaking his unbreakable code. The ring, known as the Ring of Power, is as elusive as it is crucial, leaving a trail of intrigue and suspense in its wake. And as the race intensifies, so does the tension, with each chapter tightening the noose of suspense around our necks. Our journey takes us through shadowy corridors of power, where the line between ally and enemy blurs into a misty gray. Trust is a rare commodity and betrayal is a constant companion. We're drawn into a labyrinth of deception where every turn could lead to a dead end or a deadly trap. The danger is real, the fear palpable, but it's not just about the code or the ring, it's about the secrets that the code could reveal, secrets that could bring down governments, shake the foundations of power and change the world as we know it. It's about the lies that are told to keep those secrets safe, lies that weave a web of deceit so complex it's almost impossible to unravel. And then, there's the betrayal. Betrayal that cuts deep, that shakes trust to its core, that changes the course of lives and destinies. It's a betrayal that sends shockwaves through the story, leaving us questioning everything we thought we knew. In the face of the unknown, the stakes are high and time is running out. As we delve deeper into the cipher we can only wonder, will the truth be uncovered before it's too late? In the world of espionage nothing is as it seems. This adage holds exceptionally true as we delve into the middle part of Digital Fortress by Dan Brown. The plot thickens, alliances shift like quicksand, and the tension rises to a palpable intensity. As we journey further into the heart of the story we're introduced to a labyrinth of deception and intrigue. The characters we thought we knew well start to reveal unexpected facets of their identities, leaving us questioning everything we thought we knew. Susan Fletcher, the head cryptographer, finds herself torn between her loyalty to the NSA and her personal ethics. As she uncovers more about the elusive Digital Fortress code, her faith in the agency she has dedicated her life to begins to falter. We see her grapple with these dilemmas, and it's a testament to Brown's skillful storytelling that we feel every ounce of her inner turmoil. Commander Strathmore, on the other hand, continues to confound us. 
his motivations remain shrouded in mystery, and his actions seem to contradict his stated intentions. Is he truly working for the greater good, or does he have a hidden agenda? Then there's David Becker, Susan's fiancé, who finds himself in the thick of danger, navigating the treacherous waters of international espionage. His journey takes us on a roller coaster of emotions and keeps us on the edge of our seats. The plot twists and turns like a snake in the grass, always ready to strike when least expected. Just when we think we've got a handle on things, Brown throws another curveball our way. The alliances we thought were solid start to crumble, and new ones form in their place. This section of the book is a masterclass in suspense and deception. Brown cleverly weaves a tapestry of intrigue, keeping us guessing at every turn. Every revelation is a shock, every alliance a potential trap. It's a wild ride, and we're not even at the climax yet. Just when you think you've figured it out, the story takes another unexpected turn. As we approach the climax, the lines between hero and villain blur. In the heart of this captivating narrative, we find ourselves entangled in the final chapters of Digital Fortress. It's here where the thrilling climax unfolds, a showdown unlike any other, where the stakes are as high as the tension that fills the air. In this scene, we're not only spectators to a battle of wits and wills, but we're also drawn into an exploration of ethics and morality in the digital age. It's a conflict that goes beyond the physical, delving into the depths of the virtual world, where the battlefield is not of land and sea, but of codes and ciphers. The final showdown is not just about who wins or loses, it's about the revelations that come to light, the truths uncovered. In the midst of this battle we find that the true villain may not be who we initially thought, it's a moment of reckoning that forces us to question our preconceptions, to reevaluate our understanding of right and wrong. However, this is not just a story of heroes and villains. It's a reflection of our society, a mirror held up to the challenges we face in this digital era. It's about the blurred lines between privacy and security, about the moral dilemmas that come with the power of technology, and about the sacrifices that must be made for the greater good. In this riveting climax, we're left on the edge of our seats, our hearts pounding as we turn each page, eager to discover the outcome. Yet, we're also left pondering the ethical implications, questioning the morality of the character's actions, and considering the impact of their decisions. Remember, in Digital Fortress, it's not just about the chase, the suspense, or the thrill of the hunt. It's about the journey, the revelations, and the lessons learned along the way. It's about the questions it raises and the discussions it ignites. In this Digital Fortress, who will come out on top? Looking back, Digital Fortress is more than just a thrilling story. It's a labyrinth of codes and ciphers, a chess game of intellect and strategy, and a profound exploration of digital security's role in our society. The novel delves deep into the murky waters of privacy, government surveillance, and the ethical implications of technology. We've journeyed through the enigmatic world Dan Brown has crafted, navigated its twists and turns, and hopefully unraveled its complex layers. We've encountered the intricate deceptions and the thrilling final showdown, and beneath the surface of this gripping narrative, we've found a commentary on our digital age that is as relevant today as when the book was first published. Digital Fortress paints a picture of a world where information is power and privacy is a commodity. It questions the extent to which individuals and organizations will go to protect their secrets and the implications of such actions on a global scale. It's a book that forces us to question who holds the keys to our digital lives, and at what cost. The themes of the book are timeless and evergreen. In a world where every click, every search, every message is potentially monitored, the book brings to light the uncomfortable truth about our digital footprint. It serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between security and privacy, and the thin line that separates the two. Digital Fortress, at its core, is a narrative that explores the paradox of the digital age. While technology has the power to liberate us, it also has the potential to ensnare us. It's a story that makes us ponder about the world we live in and the world we are shaping for future generations. So, as we wrap up this deep dive into Digital Fortress, we are left with more than just a story. We are left with hard questions about our digital existence and the world we are creating. We are left with a deeper understanding of the power of information and the importance of protecting it. In the end, Digital Fortress serves as a stark reminder of the power of information and the lengths people will go to protect it.